Well, because I would always get to the water level and die because I hated tails. Yet again, I'm going to throw the Mario factor in at you because Mario did that too, but they had successful things come from that. With Mario Land, Mario Land, they totally third sourced it, and and uh, but they got Wario out of the deal because yeah. of it. You know, they had a lot of successful things come from it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and that uh, that's what I like to me. Mario Two is like an improvement from Mario Land. But it was still, to me, some of it was a little bit of a misstep. But yeah, we got Wario out of it. And just like that, this one has like things that we're gonna, we got out of it for later. Yeah. That, that didn't work here. Yeah, they were a lot smarter about it later on. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's, a, that's a key thing with like, if you're gonna be successful at doing something. And I think Sega could have completely disbanded mm -hmm. 100%. Like, not even be outsourced for making games if they hadn't been successful with making Sonic, which they were in the end ultimately so successful that Nintendo was like, well, let's put Sonic in everything now. And, <laughs> and, it, <clears throat> and, <laughs> and it, it, to me, it's, it's important that, you know, when they make a mistake, like as well, what I call a mistake, that they end up learning from it because yeah you That's will what I'm see saying. That. yeah like the fact that they 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 learn from their mistake and they improve upon it later on i think was what successfully saved sega from completely becoming like a thing of a past like sega is still technically around today mm -hmm. sega is still technically alive it's not as big as it was they're not making their own consoles but are we really completely 100% sad about it other than me but <laughs> I mean to, the fact that <laughs> I still get to I play my Sega consoles yeah the fact that I can still get to play Sega games even though it's like okay well it's on a Nintendo console it's like well what does that matter I get yeah. to play the games that you know Sega made the the way that Sega makes their games and stuff like that and to me like that's ultimately what's important. That's why I hate when people get in this whole like console battles of like Xbox is better and PlayStation is better. It's like I don't care. I just want the games. I know. In the end, I don't think it's really technically the console. It's not really about the console. The console can only provide you the hardware, and 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 the how it processes the games and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And granted, there are some consoles out there. That actually took a good game and made it bad because <coughs> Link <coughs> and what was that? Uh, it's a PSI. Like the PSI, like, like we were talking about later on. It's like Wand of which, Gamelon like, or something. And they kept trying to do that shit with like really successful games, and they kept messing it up and making it horrible. Um, yeah, granted, there are consoles that do that, mm -hmm. but there, but honestly, there are so many consoles that use the same, like do the same shit. And honestly, okay, I got I've gotten into so many fights with people over this, but I really don't give a fuck about like how crappy something looks if it's really engaging and fun. Yeah. If something is engaging and fun, I don't give a shit about how I, the latest technology behind it and how good it looks. I mean, hell, we're doing retro gaming. Yeah. What the fuck do I care? If it's 8-bit pixelated and has horrible, like, like smudges and smearing, it's not that clear because there's no HD options and stuff like that, and it doesn't process, I have to wait a little bit longer for their load-up screens, I don't fucking care as long as I get interested in the game like actual gameplay yeah. like the mechanics are, are are fun they allow for some like play like it doesn't come become too competitive i'm i don't like competitive playing too much unless i'm in like a, a battle like a what's it called a uh technically not a beat-em-up but um when you're you're fighting like mortal kombat 
Like, yeah, like an actual fighting game. Where like an actual fighting game. game. Yeah, the whole purpose is it's, it's competitive. But even that doesn't have to look good, yeah. like, either. So yeah, I, I think that's why there's a lot of resurgence, too, now of, like, retro-style-looking games. Like, yeah, because I think we're spending way too much time and, and, and thought on trying to make things, like, beefed up and souped up. Like, it's a yeah, fucking Yeah, it's like, car, this game took like, 68 gigabytes to fill my, you know... Xbox One, and now I'm like I try to play it, and I'm like that was a waste of 68 gigs. <laughs> we we right we we play modern games. We do play modern games too, mm -hmm. and I mean I oh I'm not wearing it. I was like I have my Skyrim shirt, but yeah. um, even though it's no longer modern technically now, but um, yeah. I mean, but I, the but the thing is like I like modern games as well. I I want to play like modern games too, but honestly like. I got so tired of consoles bullshit because I used to work at a place where I had to set up consoles. Like, I had to set up PS4s. I had to set up Xbox, uh, Xbox Ones. And I can I just say how much I fucking hate when you put in a new game and you have to freaking pre-download the, the shit on there. And it's like, do you know Batman Arkham is like 96 fucking gigs of pre-downloaded content to make the game run smoother on upload? What the fuck? Like, when did yeah. games become that? Like, we had to, like, so seriously, like, oh, it's all about the graphics, it's all about the performance of the processing power and everything else, that we fucking, like, have to pre-download 96 gigs. I'm like, dude, that's almost like the entire hard drive. Yeah, it, it, that's what, like, kind of bugs me. It's like, Okay, this is. This game looks beautiful, but it plays mm -hmm. like shit. And then oh, you know, God. there's a, I, I forget there was like a game. It's like the ugliest game in the world, but it is like so fun. And I'm like, yeah, that proves the whole point of like, why does this look like crap? Why does this game look boy, better? You know, Game Boy games. That's proof alone. They're black and white. Yeah. And there's like no color. There's no like. And it's all pixelated and everything. It was not even back screen lit. And yeah. the fact that we were, we were, like, able to, like... It was, like, one of the, the highest grossing consoles in existence. Says a lot. Yeah, because, I mean, <laughs> it came out, and then the Sega Game Gear also had... It was at you know, the same time. Sega Game Gear was backlit, had color, had all of that, had, process, like, processing power for the time... Um, it had Sonic on there, like so you know it had to be pretty fast in order to have Sonic on there, yeah. compared to Game Boy, and they were out at the same time. But Game Boy outsold the Game Gear, hands over fist. Yeah, I mean, because they had the games, they had like well, they had the is... games, but there was also people wanted to play the games and, and, too. Yeah, well, oh, no, that's what I, I mean, mean willing like... to, to take the chance with no color no backlight mm -hmm. and then you have to buy the attachments and the attachments were heavy as fuck and so you're in the back of the car trying to be jostled about and play a video game and then you got the light that attachment and then you got the magnifying glass attachment and you're just like balancing it in the back seat like please don't drop and break anything because it's cheap plastic <laughs> but yeah. it's heavy as fuck yeah. <laughs> sorry <clears throat> I don't know. It it's funny like to go back and like <laughs> that was, we're not talking about, about this it. game at all. Uh it, <laughs> it, it basically like it, it plays like any other Sonic game except it doesn't. And I think that's what like we just had like such the hardest time with. Like I mean there's a lot of the elements like this, like platforming type stuff, it just I never I never got the fluidity like I did with the other ones. And yeah, I, I where felt... Where I would just... Okay, the loop-de-loop -loop and the spinning and the Oh, this is and... where you got confused. And I think I, I had to jump in and take over. Because you were like, what am I supposed to do here? And you kept getting electrocuted. Yeah, those stupid things. And I was finally just like, okay, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I know. And I was like, oh, I'll try it, I guess. And then, yeah. I was like, okay, this... Okay, I do have to say, I didn't even like in Sonic 3 when they had that stupid little thing that you have to, like, the little wine 
bottle cork room oh yeah the looking yeah. thing yeah i don't like those elements in it because it does break from the whole i'm trying to be fast <laughs> yeah and like even <clears throat> even when you play the older sonic like the water levels there's still a lot of like parts where you can speed through and you know you run along the water and things like that and this one i just i always felt like right when i was about to have fun they were like nope can't do that yeah, let me throw a little thing. It's like, oh my god, I want to just go fast. Let yeah. me go fast. That's the whole point. Like, I think they, they lost their mark on this. Because, okay, it's understandable, though, because this came out before Sonic 3, mm. right? So this game came out before Sonic 3. So maybe they were trying to play around with it because maybe they got a little flack for Sonic 2 mm -hmm. being so close to Sonic 1. And they were trying to say, well, if we go and stray from what we were doing in Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, maybe people will be happy that we played around a little bit. And so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for that. But at the same time, um, they also lost sight of the fact that Seven uh, Sonic 2 was one of their like highest selling games because they had changed their marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. they, they made it seem like Sonic was this rebel. He didn't fucking care. And he can go fast like that. And and so you can go fast. And so a lot of the, the, the commercials were of just like you speeding or like Sonic speeding through everything and talking about how fast the processor uh, Genesis had. Yeah. Which technically it did at the time, but nobody knew like the specifics on like how to explain that. But... <laughs> That's another story. Um, <clears throat> but they completely forgot about like how they marketed the second one and why the second one was so successful because the players wanted to speed. Yeah. They wanted to go balls to the wall. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. And which is why I get a little impatient with these games sometimes. Because yeah. I'm like, I want to speed through this. Meow. You yeah, know? And, and no, and like sometimes when I get on you about like you gotta get good at the platforming part and stuff like that, and you're like, hey, shut up. <laughs> that's, that's not what Sonic's <laughs> about. Sonic's about going through this as fast as you can. I mean, and, hello, that's his name, Sonic. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you can tell that they they obviously learned mm -hmm. the about the platforming part in Sonic Three. You know, I guess maybe from what happened here, because Sonic Three does have the platforming parts and stuff like that to it, but it's evenly spaced out to a point where I can haul ass. Even in like Sonic 2, I can haul ass and then there's a tiny bit where I gotta, okay, jump through here, jump here. Okay, here's my next little uh, part where I'm just gonna speed through and I'm gonna like, you know, shoot through these little tubes and stuff like that. It like, it, it gives you those, those like little fun parts, you know? Like how I said, there's uh, at the end of Sonic 3 where those rings or whatever come out, it's like, it's just a big room. And you're like, well, what happens if you miss it? It's like, you just jump across and you go and that's it. It's like, and that's it, yeah. But if you go in the thing, it, it's all fun and it just loops and goes everywhere and does like crazy lines and then shoots you out. And it's like, why was that fun? It was more fun to do that than to just jump through the room and go over there. It's like, it just had that element that, that worked for it. It's like... And, and you bring up another good point too, is that you don't have to click the Chaos Emeralds even to, to beat the game you don't yeah you don't have to you don't i mean the, the fun part is you can do that you could go boop. you don't have to explore if you don't want to you could try to just speed play through it without getting like a hundred percent you don't have to be a completionist yeah to 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 beat sonic i mean there's still people who try to do it you know mm -hmm. i know broken mike is pretty good about like trying to get as much as he can through playing Sonic, you know, but <clears throat> we don't. <clears throat> yeah, the only Sonic that I've ever gotten all the Chaos Emeralds in, uh, well, Sonic up until 2. we played, well, well, for me, Sonic 3. Oh. But, yeah, now Sonic 2. Because <laughs> I, but I had it memorized yeah. from, that was the one thing I remembered from my childhood. I always talk about, like, how good a memory you have. I was like, that was the one time I had good memory, it was, like, that part. Yeah. Which, speaking of which, I would love to play Aladdin, by the way. Oh, yeah. Because I used to beat that game all the time. And the I one played. on Super Nintendo is really difficult. The one on Sega, I think I beat. That's, no, that's the one I beat, Sonic on Genesis, because that's what I had. And mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and then and we'll have to do the Lion King too because there's. I, <laughs> I don't know why the Disney games. I got, on Sega I got were... pretty far on the Lion King. I think I beat the Lion King. I don't remember if I did though. Because so. Sega did do really well on the Disney games, <clears throat> except for Be- Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Oh God, I still have nightmares about that one. And there was two of them, right? There's one where you're the Beast, and then there's one where you're Belle or something. Like yeah, that. I had the one that so. where I was Beast, and I didn't know how the fuck to get down that corridor. The first fucking level of the fucking game, and I couldn't figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do, and I just like, and I played that game so many times, and I would only get like so far, and I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Because also, Disney had this thing, and um, I actually recently watched a video that explained it, and I realized why it was so, and it, funnily enough, it was talking about Lion King game, um, not the Aladdin game, but the... Around that time, there were uh, Blockbuster Video. Oh, yeah. Would rent out the games, the video games. And so a lot of kids would go to the, the stores and rent out the video games and play them that way. And sometimes... <laughs> And and sometimes they would beat out the beat the video game so they wouldn't purchase the video game because they already beat it. <laughs> and so Disney didn't want that to happen. So they purposely made their video games difficult, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, and cause... so that way people would have to buy the video games. So Lion King well, did that. So yeah. way, and they were challenging, but they, they were very challenging. They weren't like mm-hmm. impossible, but yeah, like. But they were fun too at the same time. Yeah. So even if I had beaten it, I would have been happy to have owned it, you know. And the fact that you can, they use their songs even in the game. So that way, I would always play the Aladdin game and sing along with the. <laughs> totally died there. Yeah. Um, I think that was you too. You were actually dodging those things pretty good. Oh, was I? Yeah. Oh God, I, I blocked that part out. Um, yeah, I think the the funny thing is, is I think you actually didn't go into mer mode on this one because you were like, I was too busy. Ah, fuck this! I'm gonna go do this. Else. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you killed me. Eh. <laughs> well, at the beginning, I was a bit on mer mode, yeah. but. <laughs> Because we were so hopeful at the very beginning because it, it just, it has that like, oh, you know, they added the little thing at the video at the beginning. It, it's, it should still be a Sonic game and How dare you? It, it just, you know, <laughs> the things that took us out of it are just kind of, eh, you know, and like that, I honestly would have been like, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it again. We, we had a little issue with this. We could do it again. No problem. But so the, I think this part was you. I think you gave it to me after because you were like, okay, I'm done. And yeah. Then, then... I was like, okay. You were like, what am I supposed to do? Because like, I remember yelling off. at you, jump on the other platform. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, because um, after a while, yeah, we just kind of like, am I am I just trudging through this now? Because like, what? why is it? It's like a certain level of difficulty that I'm just like, eh. You know. I think you were supposed to be on the furthest end one, not the outside uh, one. Yeah, like that. And then jump to the inside one, so that way you can reach the platform. There you go! Yeah. <laughs> I think we were like, eh, I'm trying to figure it out. I know, we were, we were like, like, what the fuck? Don't fucking yeah, care. And I felt bad, like, for a bit. Oh, all those things don't even hit you. <laughs> I know. But there was a lot of it that I just was like, you know what, we'll... I can see, <laughs> and just as I watched us, the the video to try to be like, okay, I'm gonna go in and edit and put some stuff together, and I saw that the the camera had like dropped. There's still some of the audio, but it's it was like nowhere near synced up with any parts of the camera that were there, and like, you know, we were just having so many issues with it, and I was like, I already stopped having fun in the game. Yeah. I mean, and it's funny because this part is supposed to be like the casino level because every game has a casino level mm-hmm. and <clears throat> or carnival, <clears throat> like the fun, it's the, it's the brinka brinka, the Sonic world or uh, bouncy, bouncy balloon, uh, bouncy. I was like, what is it in English? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is called in English. Um, 
of yeah. the Sonic games. <laughs> and, and so... <laughs> yeah, see, I mean, look fun at Fun house. It's like a fun house. His run animation, like, it does this, like, thing with his legs, <laughs> and I'm like, to me, that looks cool. <laughs> but it feels well, wasted because he doesn't get to do it as often. I do like when he runs and it has that... I like how the feet look in this game, and I, I'm kind of sad they never used that in the other... Sonics. Yeah, I, I really like that one as opposed to the one where his like, legs are just spinning. Like, it's a perfect circle in this yeah. one. It's not a perfect circle. It looks like a... Like a, almost an infinity. Yeah, and I think that was a smart move on this one. That I Okay, so there's a positive about this game. The, and they, they should have kept it in the, the games was how his leg run looked. They mm. should have kept that. So that was kind of like... That would have been yeah. cool, because how, how awesome would that have been if that was, like, a constant in all the games? Yeah, and I, I mean, I do appreciate that, like, if you look through the different, like, <clears throat> versions of Sonic, like, he does have slightly different, like, running animations. He has slightly different, like, I'm, oh, I'm on the edge, you know, and uh, I they forgot what that balancing thing that you, like, what you said about it the last time, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like he's at the edge and he's about to fall over or whatever, but, like, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing is, like, visually, they, it always seems like they've improved um, yeah, with I whatever like the, 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 the technical limitations are. But, yeah, like, the past, the, the, the way of changing things, and I'm like, I didn't, because I guess we didn't play it for long enough within the levels. To be uh, like, oh, this changed. Well, oh, that changed. You know. But you have a timer. Why the fuck are you supposed to worry about that shit? I don't know. I, I and the reason why I hate timers is because you can't really savor a game with a timer. Yeah. And you're just like, and then here, oh, okay. Yeah. I'll just say, go through there. But like, honestly, like. Yeah. And the thing Yoshi's I don't get is was like fun because we were able to just. You know, well, we got out. through a future zone. It said Sonic got through a future, got through zone. future zone. But in this one, it didn't even say the past one. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, and then here, you didn't even start in the past. You just back in the future or the uh, present. present. Or, you know? Yeah, but it's like... Uh, I think that's stupid. Like, yeah, the, the time zone thing to me just kind of... If you're not going to have a different end thing or like Easter eggs to it... Don't include it in there. It doesn't add anything to the game. It just seems like, oh, look at my eye candy. Yeah, it's, what the fuck is that supposed to do? Like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. It's, like, it's the same it exact feels layout. On. Same, same exact layout. Yeah, it's just tacked on. Yeah. Yeah, it's just tacked on. I mean, the layout, everything is the exact same. It just has ivies instead of brass, like yeah. trumpet stuff on there. Like... I don't fucking care. Yeah, it, I honestly. You kind of feel like they're like, "What are we gonna do with this extra space?" But mm -mm. well, we could do the same sprites but different colors. Right? Yeah, like, it, like it just uh, doesn't add anything to it. Yeah, and then in I, my opinion, and it just mm -mm. I don't know. I there mean, was so much about it that just like mm -hmm. I I felt so hopeful for it, and I I'm glad I didn't play mm -hmm. this before I played Sonic. Three. Even Sonic looks like it's tired of our shit. Because right. every once in a while, it like looks over like, what the fuck, yeah. dude? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but I, because I think Sonic Three is what kind of cemented my, uh, you know what? I really like Sonic. Uh, because Sonic Two almost turned me away when I was younger because I didn't really get to play it all that often, so I didn't get that good at it. And when you I didn't get to like the water, Sonic too? well, because I would always get to the water level and die because I hated Tails. He's, he's annoying in Sonic 2. Oh. In Sonic 3, he's not as annoying. Oh. Because in Sonic oh. 2, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to jump on this platform. Oh. And he'd come running out of nowhere and jump oh. on it. And like... How dare you, bitch? I hate it. Oh, oh, my God. I mean, Tails. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, no. I love fucking Tails. He's fucking cute. I don't care. <gasps> Murr. Yeah. So, I mean... He's better in Sonic 3, and I actually liked playing as just Tails, because you, you're able to do that, and I always, like, kind of wanted to try that and see how, like, you know, Tails was as a character. 
Uh, Whatever. But in Sonic How many 2? times did you lift me up in Sonic 2 with Tails? Well, that's because I was controlling him. But when I was, exactly. pl- when I was okay. playing by myself, I didn't have anyone. He was just an irritating person that would like come and step on platforms that I needed to use. Come with me to the past. And so, Jump on my time machine. Let me talk about something for you. Co-op playing back in the day. I figured this out when I was young by accident with my brother. When we would play fucking Duck Hunt. And a lot of people didn't figure out until recently that you could co-op in Duck Hunt. But my brother and I knew back in the 80s. Because it was one of the first fucking games we ever owned. Now, <clears throat> I would grab the controller because I'd get bored because my brother would always have the gun controller so he'd always get to shoot the birds. Where I got to, I would get bored so I just grabbed the controller and I was younger than him and I'd be like, I don't fuck because I don't give a fuck because I like don't care, make care attitude because I was only like, what, six. So I play around and realize I could control the ducks. So when I got a Sega Genesis later on, when I was preteen, I had a friend that would come over all the time, so I'd be like, well, let's play. But then she'd get upset because she didn't know how to play the game, so when we would do the competition modes, she would be like, always losing, and then she'd be like, eh. I was like, well, here, let's let's do this. I'll play a Sonic, and, you know, we'll try and see if it did what the Duck Hunt thing did. And sure enough, realized she could control Tails. And that's why I knew Tails was actually a badass character. Yeah, I didn't have, now, I didn't have friends to be playing with Sonic. <laughs> no, I just, I just, uh, I'd spend a lot of time when I play games with the Hello Darkness, my old friend. And I just, I could not stand. <laughs> he, he honestly could have been. He could have been any I character. I on your face. <laughs> Like, he could have been Aww. any character, and as long as he kept stepping on my platforms that I needed to get to, I was going to hate him. And that's <laughs> always what he did, especially in the water level. I'm like, okay, I'm going to jump on this thing. And then he'd break the platform, and I'm like, well, now I can't fucking get over there. Thank you, asshole. Now I got to walk over and get away this way and like let it reset and then go back. Okay, now I'm going back. And then he'd jump on it again and I'm like, you fucking asshole. <laughs> and so they fixed it in Sonic 3. At least I think they did because it didn't occur to me as often. It's like on occasion he would jump into something that I was going to do. But it was like Sonic 2 was just like, oh my God, I hate you. Stop doing that. And then... So it I kind of almost like took me away from it, but yeah, when they bought me Sonic Three. Um, oh, I think this is this is what like broke the game for us. Oh, uh, when we had to like <laughs> chase the chase thing, and it's like, are we supposed to be hitting him? What are we doing? I know. I was like, what the fuck are we supposed to be doing? Like, and then the fucking Doctor Robotnik comes out with oh sorry Eggman comes out from behind us with his laser thing and I was like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to outrun him? Yeah. Like what you said. Outrun him or... And I think we are supposed to outrun him, but we didn't really like... I don't know. It's just like, it's... Um, yeah, I think what we were also like, if I go too fast, is it going to send me into a different time? I know. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to go into a different time. Uh, yeah. And then we kept getting the game over in this one because we, we already went through all our lives. And I was like, oh, do we even fucking care? Yeah. <laughs> so and I, I'm so sorry. I I feel bad Yeah, we're... that we, we, I don't know, like. Yeah. I I hate that we so ranted about it easily. the whole time, but it, yeah, we, it 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 to me it was a misstep, and I, I feel kind of bad about it. At least it saves our progress, so we could start there the next time. Cause see, we and it gives us like full lives, so yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So if we ever wanted to go back, which I don't know, if that's gonna happen right now. I mean, we okay, could probably let's do, do yeah, this. But... We can leave it up to you guys. If you guys really want to see us play this some more and fucking pull out our hair over trying to beat this shit let us know in the comments down below yeah we we apologize <laughs> for all the ranting and stuff yeah man. i'm sorry to get off topic and i know it's not as like silly as i usually get 
when I'm not playing. Yeah. Because when I'm playing a game, I react a lot more to the game directly than yeah. when I'm just like looking at us playing. This is a little different story. Yeah, and so I think that kind of <laughs> just speaks for like how this game is for us. So, mm-hmm. but I mean, we also like to, you know, there are some games we're going to try to go back that we didn't finish and be like, you know what, let's give it another try. They, this is the reason we stopped and we could probably beat it. And, you know, I'm trying to think of what was that one that we really, really liked, but we terrible at. And... Mm, I don't know. I can't remember. We'll try to remember, but yeah, yeah we'll there's... try. There's a there's a few though. There are a few. It's yeah. not just one. But um. So sorry about the ranting. This <laughs> it, it starts off fun at least, but it, it Honestly... quickly went into like something that we just did not like. Um, but I I could see that we would we could beat this. I mean, we were getting through the levels pretty. So I think okay. we we touched just... upon some interesting topics in this too, though. Mm-hmm. I think they're good good things to talk about in the gamer community like microtransactions how game developers like handle things dlcs Mm -hmm. and how they are how they come into play and consoles versus games like which one's more important i i think we touched on a lot of of good topics yeah and even though we're just like technically ranting and it yeah and it's it's a it's a good thing too because you kind of get the idea of like what it's like you know as a gamer to be like oh these are my expectations of something and then to like for something like sonic you know that we both love you know like you more so than i but i still love playing sonic games like going through and and feeling that speed of going through and like it's the different feel than like mario or different feel from other like platformer kind of games and yeah, stuff like uh, I think Crash Son- Bandicoot and those kinds of things or whatever. I think Sonic, yeah, the fact that Sonic focuses on the speed so much, it is more than like any other game, and it's like wholly unique to mm-hmm. this series. Like that's some remarkability, and once they lose that, they lose the feel of Sonic. Yeah. And so, which is really what it comes down to why we had a problem with this game. Yeah. Like, it felt slow compared to the other Sonics. Yeah, it, it just felt like they were trying to throw things at you, mm-hmm. but they were things that mm-hmm. hindered Sonic from being Sonic. Yeah, it hindered the speed of it. And, and it's like, yeah, I get the fact that people think, oh, if I have to speed through something, then I don't get to enjoy it. Well, that was part of what you enjoy in Sonic, is just being able to go through it. Mm-hmm. And it didn't mean that the game had to be a shorter game, either. No, because they, they did those things where they slowed you down just enough for just a spot. Enough. So that you and could appreciate, fun. like, kind of the background and things like that. And then, all right, now let's zip off and do this other thing. I know. Which as is long like... as they, like, they, they, they pace it. Yeah. Those, those moments of, like, And they had good speed. pacing in the other games. This one has, yeah. like, kind of <clears> poor <throat> pacing in, in the way that things were. Yeah, but I think that you know. Yeah, if you guys want us to, we'll try for the Sonic CD. Um, but I mean, let us know. Yeah, of course, we always take your guys into cons- you guys into consideration when it comes to what we do on our channel because you guys are really important to us. Yeah, and, and always been. And if you ever guys feel like you know, hey, I have a request. We will do our best to try to beat the game that you request. We already, we don't we've already always, done that but, several times, yeah. actually, to be quite honest. I mean, the whole fact that we went into uh, the Kunio Kun mm-hmm. series was thanks to Vic Lee from uh, Black Hungry Panda. So, shout out to him. And then we did uh, Gamer Ian requested that we do Alex Kidd, mm-hmm. which I thought that was like, I, I went into that game absolutely hating it because I tried playing it once without looking into it at all on my own before he even suggested it and I was like eh. so I wasn't even gonna do that game but then he requested it and then I ended up finding my love for it yeah you know I I have a newfound appreciation of Alex Kid because of him so thank you gamer Ian. shout out and then broken Mike suggested uh, streets of rage yeah and so shout out to him again um but uh, which I always thought 
Streets of Rage was awesome. I already knew about that one. Yeah. But still, the fact that he suggested helped us make the decision to go ahead and play it. So even if it's something that we've already played or haven't played, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. as long as we're able to get our hands on a, that game. It, it doesn't matter. So And we have a huge library of games heads up. Yeah. So please, we don't have everything, but like, well, we don't have. I everything. try to find as much as I can. I'm surprised that I was able to find as much of the Kunio Kun series as I did, um, and then like some of the other games. We're gonna too. play more too. So just like yes. you know, we get those in, and it's like, mm -hmm. hey, check this out. You could do these, and you do this, and I'm like, oh, hey, I know about this one game, and it was like, oh, here's this other treasure trove of all these other games that were like a lot of them ended up being awesome. I think I actually ended up becoming a fan of many games. Thanks to people's suggestions. Like, mm -hmm. all, all the games that I ended up becoming a new <laughs> new fan of have been games that people have suggested to me. Mm -hmm. So it's like, or to us. And it's because it's I'm now a fan of Alex Kidd. I'm now a fan of Kunio Kun. Oh, hell is yeah. I'm a huge fan of Kunio Kun. I never touched Kunio Kun before. And I didn't know there were so many games. Yeah, like I, know, I, I only knew the two. And... Yeah, I know the Minion played it before, but he did, and he liked it before, but he didn't know that it was like a huge thing in Japan. Like huge. Yeah. Like Japan absolutely loves Kunio And which, by the way, there's a new Kunio game coming out now. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to it because it's River City Girls. So I want to play that. But... Yeah. So, you know... <laughs> I think games like this are important. Like even when you see us go and play like those terrible games like Beetlejuice, which <clears throat> to me has like no redeeming value of it. Like oh God, worst this game Sonic, ever. This Sonic is at least you know steps into like different explored territory and stuff. Like, like that, yeah, so. like this I wouldn't put as like the worst game ever. I no. honestly wouldn't. No. It's just not a game I'm interested in. But it's... like I could see myself taking it like morsels at a time but i i can't sit here and play it and i think that's what ended up happening to us too is that we sat here and was like okay i'm not having fun for like this period of time now and then we tried playing it in all in and one it, go and it, and it just fell flat yeah and i think the flowers really affected me too much but yeah i i, I didn't really mm -hmm. think that that was gonna be a problem i didn't <laughs> i didn't i didn't realize how many of these like small little I get almost insignificant when you think about it, but those are the things that make me that have that me. feeling, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't have any of the attitude feeling from Sonic in this. I don't I don't feel that sense of, like, journey to to save things and, like, to be I a hero. I miss the critters. I really do. I miss the little creatures. The little creatures was what made me play Sonic in the first place, that and him being fast. In this one, I think he lost both of those. He lost he lost the cute little critters, and he lost the speed. Yeah. And so I'm like, then yeah. it's not Sonic to me. It yeah. really isn't. Like, this didn't feel like Sonic to me. Even though it looks like Sonic, it sounds like Sonic, kind of. Mm -hmm. I mean, the music in it was pretty good. Yeah. You know, it was decent. But at the same time, it was like, he. <laughs> Yeah. I don't have the creatures. I don't have the speed. I don't fucking care. Yeah. So, I, I, think... <laughs> I have like one lady crush, and that's our whole reason for this game. Why do? Actually, it doesn't even look like you have a crush on her. It looks like she's like more like following you. Yeah, she was just some random. And I'm like, like, oh, let me go save her. Does Sonic even care about her? Her her hearts are all over the place, but Sonic apparently doesn't have hearts around him. So I don't think Sonic likes her. And I'm like trying to get away from that crazy bitch. Like she makes me think of Mean Girl. <laughs> so But <laughs> I could have totally been Mean Girl Mean Girl. Like <laughs> what was one of them that she That's said like <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. Anyway, I can't remember off the top of my head. Like, <laughs> what do you like? What do you like for breakfast in the morning? I like mine fertilized. Uh, how do you like your eggs? <laughs> what was it fertilized? Yeah, fertilized. So. <laughs> but. <laughs> uh. But and it makes me think that's what she is, and I'm like, why do I care about 
saving. I mean, that's mean. I guess I care about saving her because I just don't want her to She's die, but I don't love her. Yeah. Eh. So, I don't know. Let <laughs> I'm us... mean. I'm mean. I yeah. know. I'm sorry. I'm salty just bitch. Let but... us know, though, like, yeah. what, what you guys think. Um, you might even, like, let us know what the hell that is. Like, all these other things that, like, might help us understand the game a little bit better into a way where we go, oh, okay, you know what? Maybe we're not using the time zone things right and once Maybe we figured we that out. Maybe we just didn't get it. Yeah, because I mean... Maybe it went over our head. Just like the Alex... that happens too, you know? Yeah, just like the Alex kid. Like, I didn't like that game before because I didn't... I still don't like the one, the Miracle World or whatever, the very first one, but... I the, like the that Enchanted whole Castle. Bitch, say what? That's the one. That was the first one I realized. I how much I like punching things in the face. Yeah, but I, I did like the Enchanted Castle one because that one at first I didn't like either. No, I didn't like I the, the Lost one. Stars one. Oh my god, the, the Lost oh, Stars that one. Was, one. Oh, it was god. difficult in that one. I fucking hated that one. It, it was fun, but at the same time, it was like, okay, this is just getting on me. Yeah. Oh wait a minute! But, no, no, no. Was that the? No, it was Tech World. Oh, Tech, Tech World. World was just... Oh, that was, like, worst that ending ever. That was weird, ever. even though we beat it, but... Worst ending ever. Yeah, but... Oh, so, yeah, go ahead and let us know about that, if you have any suggestions on what we could do. Um, you know, we're going to continue on with the Sonic series. Uh, we're going to take the loss on this one for now, uh, unless you guys decide, you know, hey, you guys, you know, pick it up on that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, like, give us some suggestions, because right now it's kind of, like trudging through it and that's the thing about us is like we like to have fun with the games we also like to the challenge of like trying to beat games that are difficult or like have like certain different aesthetics that we we try to get used to and sometimes it's like oh yeah that little bit of advice can help us get from one part to the next but i think we're gonna in the meantime before we hear from like if we don't hear from you guys yet um we're gonna jump into the next Sonic. Yeah. Um, after I... Sonic and Knuckles, technically, um, which is uh, Sonic 3D. I think it might be the Sonic 3D Blast. I don't know, um, or the Sonic Adventure. I I have to look at the timeline. Yeah, like, it was one of those. They but released the... different things and like stuff like that. But... but that's where we're gonna go next. So, yeah. um, but if we hear like from you guys, but as, but if we hear from you before then continue this then we'll do that yeah and if not we'll just stick it somewhere at the end and try to do it again or you know yeah like we'll, we'll throw it in yeah so this and give been... a shout out because yeah. you recommend something we threw it we shout out i only missed once uh we got a sh- we got a a suggestion to play a game and i wasn't able to find out who suggested it and i even sent out a tweet asking hey by the way who suggested this and no one came forward so I still feel like horribly guilty. I'm so yeah. guilt ridden over the fact that I wasn't able to give a proper shout out to the person. <laughs> yeah, we, we but, try to keep them, you know, in a in a little file or whatever, just so that we know. I, I'm better but, at documenting now. So please send us the recommendation. Yeah, we give you the shout out, and yeah. Yeah, always just request whatever. You're like we'll see if just we have it. Just throw it out or, there. Yeah, even if it's a brand new game, we'll even if we'll, it's a modern we'll, game, we'll try we'll to get still into those. Do it because um, people get the misconception that we're only retro, and we're not only retro. Yeah, it's just that those are the games that we're we're, starting we're within series I think and we're stuff. completionists in the sense that we want to play as many video games as we want to. It's not like yeah, as whatever we can, and because the old games are so fun going back and revisiting those is like just a lot of fun and then seeing where that progressed and like now for some series I that think are that's still why, that's most of why we're going doing the retro stuff is to see the progression from so, then to now is really interesting to us yeah so even something like this it's still a lot of fun to go and see like oh you know this where did, a it, where did sonic try. come from and to see where they misfired is really interesting yeah as well as to see like what where did they get that original concept from but yeah so this has been versus the game i'm the minion and i'm magic yum 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 bye guys Mwah.